There are 800,000 victims of sex trafficking a year, making it the fastest growing business of organized crime worldwide. Alicia Niavis joins us ex to explain how local law enforcement came together today to combat this growing crime. Alicia. Crystal, just weeks ago, the House passed bills aimed at fighting human trafficking. These will provide services and support to victims and supply additional resources to law enforcement. But I wanted to know firsthand from what our uh, local folks are saying, and I got a real eye opener. Tuesday morning, Congressman Mike Conaway met with local law enforcement and advocates to brainstorm to find the tools needed to be ready to help human trafficking victims. If it's only one young woman, uh, one woman, uh, it's too many. And so uh, what I saw this morning was a great heart for uh, the victims that, uh, you know, the, uh, but a frustration at not having the trained uh, therapists and others available to be able to intervene on behalf of the victim to get them out of the circumstances. This collective initiative comes just after the House of Representatives passed 12 bills aimed at diminishing this deadly crime. I think the surprising thing is that it, human trafficking is happening locally. Karen Hildebrand, the executive director of the Crisis Center in Odessa, says the exact numbers of human trafficking victims locally, they aren't easy to track. That's because many victims mask the reality with sexual assault, for example. Others don't come forward. We've had three young women in our shelter that were in that situation, and they were all underage. And, and we had to find, involve the FBI and find um, help for them. Young women are most impacted by this deadly crime. A lot of times it's runaways that then get pulled into this because uh, they're vulnerable. Advocates encourage communication between young women and their parents and urge anyone who is lured into this organized crime to come forward because the help is there. For more information on the Crisis Center, visit odessacrisiscenter.org or call their hotline at 866-627-4747. Alicia Neyavis, Newswest 9.